Microsoft Ice next. Hello, my name is Doug Hubble and welcome to Astrophotography Tutorials. Today's topic is Microsoft Ice, Image Composite Editor. And this program, what it will do is it will take each of your individual frames and it will stitch them together, making this one gigantic panoramic view of your entire shot. Now this is very useful when you want to take a shot of the entire Milky Way and you want to get the landscape in the background, everything. So it's a very uh, good tool. I'm going to show you how to use that and also stick around at the end of the video. I'm going to have my old hat ceremonial burning at the end. Google search for Microsoft Ice and you'll find this free software. Uh, the first thing you do, it's very simple, you just open up your panoramic images and uh, what I want to do here is I'm just going to pull up the, the frames from my DSLR, the CR2 frames. And this is just uh, a set of images that I took of uh, the Milky Way. I'm just going to go ahead and open these up. And what it will do is it'll, it's very simple. Number one, it's going to import it. Number two, it's going to stitch them. And it, it'll take a little bit of time to stitch it. After it gets done stitching your image together here, you'll have these different choices of, of the way the projection uh, can appear. I'm going to hit the next button and say crop. And now we get to this point where it will ask you if you want to auto-complete. Now you can use this. Uh, I think with auto-complete it does probably a better job with daytime images than it does with nighttime images. I'll show you an example of it right now. It went ahead and it did its best guess of trying to auto-complete it. But personally I just don't like the way that, that it auto-filled this area right here. It just uh, I think if you really wanted to fill that in, you'd probably do a better job in Photoshop. Uh, you can also uh, see right here uh, that vehicle kind of like did some stuttering on that. And some other places down here, it just kind of like repeated uh, some areas where it really didn't know what to do. Probably because it was just too dark for it to actually see anything. So what I would do is I on my image, I would uh, not use it. I would just uncheck that and then it would be just the way it was and then you would select the crop area of what you would like to uh, take out and just just like any other crop tool then you hit uh, next over here and you can export the image to any kind of file format you would like uh, Photoshop is uh, one of my favorites if you do the Photoshop you can do all layers, but if you do all the layers, then it's it, it it really gives this too much of a file size. Really don't need that large of a file size. So I would say just do a composite, you get a flat image of the whole thing, and then you can bring it into Photoshop and do some more work on it if you'd like there. I realize this program is really super easy, but I wanted to show you uh, the results that you can get out of it. I personally like uh, Microsoft Ice better than using uh, Photoshop's Photo Merge. Uh, it really does a very good job. It, what it will do is it doesn't just make square block cuts. It really weaves in the uh, different frames very nicely. So get out there this summer and take some shots of the Milky Way and realize that if you want to make a, a nice panoramic view of the entire Milky Way, you can using Microsoft Ice. If this is your first time watching, I would like you to subscribe. I publish two astrophotography videos on the 1st and 15th of every month. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you soon. Here is made by O'Neill. It's a nice hat. It's got a brim on it. Many people have asked where I've purchased this hat. You can look it up online, purchase probably on Amazon or Dick's. This is where I got it at Dick's Sporting Goods. But now it's time to throw it in the fire and watch it burn. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Look at that sucker burn.